Against my better judgment, I'm going to replace the inner cable for my left shifter, which controls the front derailleur here on my Trek Domani SL6. It has mechanical Ultegra, unlike the DI2 on one of my other bikes. And when I shift into the small ring, it doesn't give me any problems, but sometimes when I shift into the big ring, it starts to bind a bit and it just gets hard to hit that lever. So today I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can replace the inner cable and not spend all day doing it. Hopefully this will take no more than an hour or two, and hopefully I don't pull my hair out doing it and the cable end is already starting to fray, which is probably not a good sign. Probably a sign for me to not do this. But anyway, made the decision, let's do it. First, gotta shift into the small ring. Gotta pop this top piece off right there. All right, good to go. Little, little cable cover that is right there. All right, here goes nothing. Let me go fix the lights so you guys can see a bit better, so I can see better too. All right, so it comes up and goes around counterclockwise. Pull this piece off, that piece went like that. So I'm gonna leave it on the floor. See, this thing is dirty, huh? Now I peeled this back. We have to get this piece off. Just hang right there. And I'm gonna use a very tiny Allen key just to try to fish this out right here. This is not easy to get a grip on here. Oh, we got it. Means we can cut this piece right about there, just so that it's easier to go through the inside of the cable. Since we're not replacing the inner cable, just the outer cable. And let's just give it a pull. Oh God, it is. Oh, there's a lot of resistance. Old cable out. Now, as you could see, it comes through over here, right there. That's how it does. Now, a lot of times what ends up happening with these cables is because there is such a sharp bend right here, the cable goes like this and it bends so sharply, they end up fraying right here. That's the Shimano STI shifter issue that because it's such a tight bend and because it wraps around, it just constantly eats it up. Just replacing the inner cable every once in a while should be okay. This one looks pretty decent. It looks kind of dirty up here as I hit the lens. Always use a lens protector, folks. Doesn't look too bad, but like I said, it was getting very bindy. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace the whole thing. Okay, we got the old cable out. It looks like this is nice and smooth, but I still wanna go ahead and just check to make sure. No dust, no dirt. Overall looks pretty good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put the cable through right here. Nice brand new cable. Testing it out. It is working. Uh, that shifter has no resistance. That'd be great if it was able to shift it with no resistance like that. Now the tricky part, we gotta put it back through here. And we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Cool. All right, we got the cable in. So I'm having a problem getting it all the way in through the shifter. Just gonna have to play with it for a little bit. All right, I finally got it in. It wasn't in properly over here and the cable is now all the way threaded through down here. I did feel some resistance when it was coming out of the cable housing right here. So maybe that's where my resistance was coming from, but we're gonna go ahead and see if this can feel any better than it did. Right, now we're gonna try to pull this. It goes like that and it wrapped around there. And now let's pull it tight, as tight as we can, at least. Check the adjustment. Yep, there's tight, there's loose, okay. Oof, God, that is hard to shift. But we probably need more cable tension. All right, let's tighten this up. And final thing, we're gonna put this back like that. That way it's nice. And we can clip it right there. Still gotta make some final adjustments here. Let's put it all the way in low gear. Cover this up over here. 
All right, that wasn't so bad. That took a little bit over a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, but I was filming and moving the camera around a little bit. So realistically, this job probably took me about a half an hour. And now that I know what to look out for, I could probably do it in a little bit less than that. Now, electronical shifting is great. However, if you still got mechanical, if you do this every once in a while, maybe every just do it once a year, that way your cables don't fray. What ends up happening in the STI shifter is the cable ends up going like this. It sits like that, and then it ends up fraying right there. This one wasn't, this one's still pretty good, but you could feel it does have some cuts in it. And that's where you can get the STI shifters to eat the cables as people like to call. So a bit of preventative maintenance, just replace your inner cables, should get you some better shifting performance and you won't have to be spending a whole lot of time digging out a broken cable out of your shifters. Now I do have to set this up and index it, get the cable tension all dialed in. But overall, I am very pleased. This job was a lot easier than I thought and I don't feel the need to upgrade the DI2 as much as I used to on this Trek Damani. Thanks for watching.